We're back and this is the final episode of Roads Down Under. Uh, kind of a bro day today. I fly out tomorrow to Miami to Waterpalooza with Tyr and then heading from there to Australia a couple of days later. So we're just going to get moving, uh, doing a lot of roads, a lot of moving and yeah, have a bit of fun. <laughs> YouTube's going to get to see the boring stuff. I know. Fabian and I were talking, and all you guys are seeing is basically deadlifts. <laughs> and, and, oh, and dumbbell pressing, monster dumbbell. Yeah, because we, we always film on the same day, and obviously my program, it, you repeat doing things. So, yeah, a little bit of, you're going to see how a bit of the sausage is made today. <laughs> but so, I actually don't remember the last workout I had that started with seated rows. Yeah. So what, do we, what do we got on the menu today? It's a bit refreshing. We've got seated rows, some sort of prone row, lat pull down, a little bit of sort of ad hoc conditioning work. I think that's it. So how's the body feeling, man? How are you feeling getting ready here? Body feels really good. Yeah, how, no issues at all. How many days till you compete? 10, 11, yeah, I'm not really doing much leading up to it. Um, basically, we're just gonna rock up, see how we go. Um, but body feels good, no issues. I, I don't feel as strong as I did two weeks ago. All sort of part of the plan. We'll ramp everything back up, build some momentum for the next 10 days, then just carry that through to the Arnold. But I'm most excited, I think, to see what my max log press is going to be. Hmm. I think on a really good day, I think maybe 210. 210, would be, that would be huge. Yeah. That would then put me behind Bibby, Luke, and Bobby. What do you think about Luke going for 230? He's so strong. He is so strong. Yeah. Like, he's... He's capable, but you know who else is strong? Sorry, I'd be behind uh, Graham Hicks as well. Hmm. Graham Hicks has, has he done 230? I think he's cleaned 230 like four or five times or something. So Graham's also going for it. Yeah. When it comes to pressing, it's just, it's a different athlete. Like Luke, Bibby, uh, Graham, and Bobby, like the four of them, they're just, they're in a different stratosphere and like, there's nothing you're going to do about it. <clears throat> so what is like your current split roughly? Like, do you usually have one day that's kind of like this? That's a little bit slower and... Not usually, but since I'm traveling, we're sort of accounting for the fact that I won't have everything available to me always. Mm. So I got this day ready for like, I could do it at any commercial gym anywhere. <clears throat> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your travel plans because I don't think people really understand how much you're traveling in the next yeah. two and a half weeks. So I'm from here to Miami and I'm in Miami for Waterpalooza for three days. Then I go from Miami to LA, meeting up with a couple of friends in LA. I'm there for about 12 hours. Then I go from LA to Sydney, Sydney to Brisbane, Brisbane to Sydney, Sydney to Melbourne. Melbourne for four days, back to Sydney for four or five days, then back to LA and Toronto. And there could be a little trip to Adelaide thrown in last minute as well. So yeah, there'll be a lot of moving around. So how do you plan to get like your training in throughout all this stuff? Cause you said that there's a couple seminars that you're gonna be doing. So you'll be able to train there for sure. Yeah. But like, what does your training look like over the next 10 days as you prepare for Australia's Strongest? Just make two, uh, like all, I'll have barbells available to me in Miami. I'll, I'll be able to find a gym in Miami. Maybe I'll go over to um, Noah Olson's gym or something. Not sure. Um, then when I go to Sydney, I'll have a gym there. Uh, everyone in Australia, I'll be able to train. So Sydney won't be an issue. Brisbane won't be an issue. Melbourne won't be an issue. Back to Sydney won't be an issue. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'll be training at the gym that I basically started strong man at. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, a little uh, hole in the wall in Paddington yeah. in Sydney.
Yeah. So what do you think about Shaw announcing his last finals here? Yeah, his last Worlds. It's, uh, I like having a, a concrete end to an era, but we go in knowing that it's his last and you know, very privileged to compete against him at all. Um, but being there for the closing of that chapter is pretty special. Um, I know that he was sort of 50-50, but hopefully he comes, gives it his all, and he comes in in good shape because he's still one of the best in the world. Yeah. Like People just compare him to what he used to be. And Brian Shaw, 5% off of his peak, is pretty damn competitive regardless. So it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. Um, you know, as a bit of a like extra motivator, I'm thinking, I beat him in the heat, but he smoked me in the final. So I get to go hopefully have a little bit of revenge on that. Um, so, yeah, no, it'll be good. It'll be good. And uh, I couldn't imagine being him. I was on the phone to him a couple of days ago, asking him about like if he was going to come back for one more. And he's sort of not sure. Might have been last week. And I was talking to him about like the pressure of if you come, he came fourth this year. And people are like, oh, Brian Shaw, shit, he should retire. You're like, man, like, you, you were so good that now if you come forth, you're like, oh, you're terrible. Yeah. And uh, well, he basically told me to just wait. wait. Wait until it happens to me. So I know that you said that we're not really prepping for Australia's strongest this no. year. No. Um, would you say that like your bigger training days are done leading up to the comp or do you still no. have any more big sessions? Before? No, I have big sessions. Yeah, I'll, I'll have, I'm prepping for the Arnold now. So I'll have a, like a 170 log triple next week. I've got like 350 for reps deadlift next week. So I'll take the day or two off before ASI to make sure that I'm not sore or anything. Um, but you can only dedicate so many peaks to things and the Australia comp um, this year is just not one of them. Um, but you can still go perform well, perform safely. And I think you'd be surprised how far general training can get you. I.e. Eddie Williams at uh, Royal Albert Hall, fucking one day's notice. And he rocks up and for the most part, if you're generally strong and generally fit, you're gonna do pretty well in comps. You won't beat the best in the world, but you could do, yeah, you could, uh, you could make do. If you think about this year, the comps that I actually prepared for, actually prepared for Worlds. That's really it. Like otherwise, worked hard on my deadlift, but I never had a full peek into a, into a comp. So I never actually really fully prepared for anything. Yeah. Cause... And Arnold's would be the first time in my pro career after Worlds that I'll actually peek into something. I don't think that that's going to make that much of a difference if I were to just go into it. Um, but it'll be interesting. Interesting to see what we could do. Yeah. What are we doing for lap pull downs here? I think we're, uh, we're still 4x15s. 4x15s? Just a casual 220 on here. Yeah, still 15s. Whew, Jesus Christ. My back is so full. I feel like I'm walking around like a, like a bodybuilder. Looking for ILS. Oh, oh definitely too heavy. Jeez. Yeah, some of those were looking like uh, some partial reps there. Definitely some partial reps happening, but that's okay. Do you know bodybuilding would actually be so easy to train? Like, the science is so clear. Yeah. Volume and tension. Yeah, like, that's it. Just hammer it over and over and over and over. <clears throat> so, what are some Mitchell Hooper lap pull down cues? 
I'll tell you after. <laughs> Big one is pulling the elbows, not the hands. Then, if you bring it anywhere past, like your nose, you start to roll it over and you get into, it's still lats, but internal rotation. But I prefer to try and open up a bit more. But it's uh, very much don't overthink it. Just fucking pull it and give her. You'll be right. Give her. What now? Into uh, T-bar rows. T-bar rows, all the rows. <laughs> How are those feeling? That's awkward. How are those feeling? Oh, forearms are tired ass. I feel like all the work's just in holding on to it. A little bit of grip training. Maybe that's intentional. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Shrug, Mitch? What do we have going on here? <laughs> I gotta go fetch. Oh. This is actually where I sleep. When Ashley's mad at me. <laughs> Man, that's a tight squeeze in there. It is a tight squeeze. Not comfy. What oh, were you fishing out there? Lightstone. Lightstone? Yeah. How heavy is this guy? 80. 80? And what are we doing here? We're going to do uh, some big sets, some conditioning. There you go, 10. Oh, yeah, that moved well. Yeah, that's fine. How many, how many rounds of that we're going to do? Three to five. Three to five. We'll see how I feel. Pretty manageable. Yeah. We'll see how it all holds up. If I could go to Australia, and at this point in the season, if I could hit a 200 log in like a 230 stone, I'd be pretty happy. I think since stone is last, I won't have to go that high, but fresh, I think I'd be able to give 250 a run. But uh, yeah, it'll be good to get a little bit of a benchmark, something to build some momentum into the season. Nice, because you don't really want to start the season with Arnold, like a massive one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. What would you say your look? What event are you looking forward to most at Australia? Australia? Yeah, that, they they got a really cool stone for the front carry. Hmm. Have you seen it? No. Really cool. They got like this. Looks like an eye, almost in the front. So I think that one. All right. Do you want to just announce quickly what we're doing for this last one? Yeah. Uh, last set. Technically, it's conditioning. Just doing it on stones. Going to go max reps, unbroken. Every time stone goes in the hole. 
practice that, uh, that rhythm for a call. How many do you think you're going to get? Uh, 15 to 20. How was that? Okay. It was okay. Just getting used to the rhythm. Because yeah. a lot of time can be wasted on getting it into the hole. And if it rolls around, anyway, worth practicing. Once you get a bit sweaty though, it's a red yeah. It was okay though. 14 or so? Yeah, I lost count. I wasn't counting. Chest tight. All right. That wraps up today's video. Let's go hit some posing. Okay, yeah. Some nice sweaty posing. Oh. With, uh, with any Hall's announcement, is this the debut or what? I reckon. No, you're looking good, man. What's what's the weight at these days? Uh, I'm about uh, three ten. Three ten. Three fifteen. Yeah. So uh, these are the money makers. I enter only my legs <laughs> in the Olympia, or not the Olympia, at the Arnold for the open men legs only division. Legs only. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Looking good. <laughs> you did men's and feet, right? When you competed? Yeah. Uh, what is it? 130 pounds ago. Yeah. Oh. Enough of that. <laughs> Fabian begged me to do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, should we sign off here or what? Let's sign off. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for how the trip to Miami goes. How the trip down under goes, wish me luck at comp. And when I get back, we're full into Arnold's prep. So wish me safe travels. Become a member, subscribe, leave a moose dropping. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.